It seems like a lot more tea is being spilled about the workplace environment at Good Morning America. Now, shortly after former GMA anchors TJ Holmes and Amy Roback announced their departure from the network, more people have started to speak out about the multiple affairs that allegedly took place throughout the office. Now, a former employee told the, uh, told the cut that employees hooking up with one another was not uncommon in the workplace, claiming it felt like everybody was sleeping around. And another source spoke out on the uh, company's inappropriate ways, saying uh, and boldly claimed that staff members would be rewarded if they were either divas or adulterers. Oh. Sounds like it was off the chain over there. Um, Sound like they need my resume, girl. I feel, I feel like you and Al. I'm like, we might be losing y'all to GMA. Oh, Al. She actually try to do it. <laughs> she to do, she well, I'm just trying to find a, 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 an appropriate place for y'all because it seems like they wild out and have fun. Let's see what Al says. Al, what are your thoughts on these allegations? And, Listen, and you, I know that the president of ABC, that, 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 that black female, is losing sleep over this. I will share this, though. I am 110% not comfortable with the narrative being created around T.J. Holmes as both a predator and also a poster child for sexual misconduct at ABC. They need to release that man of that every single one of those young ladies were of age you know old old age and they were also consenting so for to make him out to be a predator and a poster child for sexual misconduct at abc is unfair i think it's unfair and i think it sends a message in the workplace that black men are usually the root of this and it strips these women of agency you I'm you know what, 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 what? No, no. While I agree with Al, um, I, as black men in this world, we understand that we have to be ten times better to get half as much. He knows what it is. He heavy is the head that wears the crown. Okay, TJ knows that he can't get away with the same thing that his white counterparts get away with in that organization. Does it make it right? Absolutely not. But are you going to die on the hill of? Can I do the same thing my white counterparts do? TJ is old enough to know what our station is in this life and what we face. And he should have done better. While I don't think he's a predator, and while I don't agree with them making him out to be a predator, he should have understood that had anybody ever found out that that was going to be the narrative. And TJ, because you are able-bodied, and sound mind, your upper echelon, and you're educated, you could have prevented all of this. So, brother, while it may not be fair, I have no sympathy for you. Um, post a child for being a predator? No, I don't believe that. Post a child for being, for fumbling a bag and just being inappropriate? Listen, I get if you fall for someone at work. I get if you feel, fall and, and date a couple people at work uh, over the course of some years. But it seems like he was slanging a lot of D around the office. It seems like there's a lot of people he messed with and it's like a free for all, but maybe not even just him. So maybe that's why he felt so comfortable. Like, well, everyone's kind of doing it here. So maybe that's what gave him the green light. But like you said, both y'all, you do have to work twice as hard to be twice as careful as your white counterparts. There's not as much grace given to us by us and by them. It's a fact, it is a fact. So yeah, you may see everybody out sleeping with each other and then you got to join them. You're not going to get the same punishment. You're not. And so, Claudia, I'm going to add one thing to it. He better, yeah. go, he better go find a job quick, fast, and hurry. He better put his damn resume on Indeed or at a minimum go be a substitute teacher at a New York high school because that white woman is not going to keep his ass with no job. Well, they said that supposedly he bought her a promise ring, which I'm like, we doing promise rings in our 50s? Okay. Girl, I, I listen, the last time I had a promise ring, I was 12 and a half with a Lisa Frank lunchbox. Okay. Do we still do promise rings? Al, would you do that? <laughs> he better promise her. She got the $50 million in the bank and he's jobless now. He better promise her something. If he, he better promise to, her that he's not going to be If he wants to stay now. living in that east side apartment. He better, listen, he better, listen, listen, when you lose your job, you automatically qualify for unemployment and food stamps. He better promise her that food stamps and unemployment ain't going to be her life beyond these six months that she eligible. Non-employment, that's about $600 a week on New York. All right, y'all, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with more TGIF. Get your questions in the chat so we can get to them at the end of the show. We'll be right back.